In a windy day last autumn, I took a hike from Dragalevsky Monastery up to the Black Peak, or Chenibrych, the highest peak of Vitushen Mountain. As the path I choose starts from the monastery, I decided to take a look at it. The Dragalevsky Monastery was built in the middle of the 14th century and it was part of the many monasteries which arose in 14th and 15th century around Sofia. Near the end of the 14th century, during the Ottoman invasion, the convent was set on fire and destroyed, but then rebuilt again in the second half of the 15th century and named upon the Holy Virgin Mary. The courtyard of the monastery is much smaller than the one of the monastery of St. Mina, as you can see in the respective video in my channel, but is very calm because of the pine trees of the forest that surrounds it. The monastery once consisted of a church, housing and farm buildings. The only one of which was preserved from the old monastery complex is the church. The premises for the monks are relatively new, rebuilt in the 20th century, so they are more convenient for the monks who live here. Of course, there is no access to the premises which is understandable, but you can take a tour in the courtyard surrounding the church. But let's enter inside the church. The church itself is a type of basilica and, although very small, is very cosy. As in any Orthodox church, you can find, of course, the main icon of the patron of the monastery or of the church, in this case the Holy Virgin Mary. And the iconostasis, in which are embedded the icons of Saint Stephen, Saint John the Baptist, the Lord Jesus Christ, the gate with a red curtain which hides the small altar, and then of the left side of the gate, the icons of the Holy Virgin again, Saint Mina and Saint Nicholas. Above the gate is mounted a picture of the Holy Supper. The iconostasis in the church was renovated in the end of 18th century as its carved ornaments were gold-plated. The most interesting, however, are the few preserved frescoes painted centuries ago as the several old icons. Unfortunately, only fragments from several biblical scenes have been preserved from the original wall paintings, but there are icons from the 19th century that are still kept in the church.
Let's continue the tour of the church. I couldn't find what that building is and even if it is part of the monastery itself and what is its purpose. Another interesting thing is that the church bells are mounted in the courtyard and not in the church. Normally, they are built in a tower that takes part of the church, but it's not the case here. Now it was time for May to leave the monastery and to take the hike I intended to the Black Peak as there is a long way to up there. If you have the chance to travel to Sofia, take time to visit this monastery. You won't be disappointed. You can follow May for the rest of the hike in the next videos. Thanks for watching.